What is going on guys? You wanted me to dive into a video on class abilities, so we are going to do it one class at a time. This time talking about the tank, what we know about this class, what abilities we've seen so far, and more. Keep in mind this is alpha, all of this could change, some abilities may not even exist in the end of the alpha, but it will give you a good idea of what to expect for the tank class when jumping into alpha 1 this fall, or watching other people play it this fall. There will also be way more abilities to to choose from at launch, especially with the hybrid classes involved. A tank's job is to control the fight, to help a party mitigate incoming damage, and to dictate who is getting hit. They can take large amounts of punishment from the enemy and woe those who ignore their commands. Controlling enemies isn't always easy on the battlefield though, and luckily the tank has a variety of abilities to help them. Onslaught allows you to charge the target, provides a small damage absorbing shield and generates additional threat. This ability can upgrade the damage, increase your shield, along with being upgraded to knock down targets. Lacerate slashes your target dealing instant damage and bleeds the target over time, generates additional threat, and this ability can be upgraded to explode remaining bleed damage as instant damage if the target is already bleeding from previous attacks, along with increasing the damage. Resounding Smash smashes the ground in front of you, dealing damage to all targets. A second hit resounds on the primary target and generates additional threat. Shockwave has you stomping the ground in front of you, knocking down and dealing damage to all targets, generates additional threat and this ability can be upgraded to do damage over time in the affected area along with increasing the damage. Bulwark strikes your target and increases your block chance, generates additional threat and this can be upgraded to increase damage, increase the duration and increase the block chance. Myrmidon's Fury, although we don't have any gameplay of this yet, we know that the ability strikes your target and increases your damage damage mitigation along with generating additional threat, which can be upgraded for increased damage, duration, and mitigation. Javelin allows you to pull your target to your location while generating additional threat. This ability can be upgraded to increase the damage and increase the amount of targets that can be pulled, and it can also stun the target at rank 3. Lob Weapon, again, no gameplays available on this yet, but we do know it has you throw your weapon at your target dealing damage. It generates additional threat, and Lob Weapon can be upgraded to increase the damage along with increasing the amount of targets it bounces to. Ultimate Defense provides mitigation based on missing health, up to full invulnerability. It reduces the movement speed while active though. This can also be upgraded to increase the duration along with increasing mitigation. These are just a few of the abilities the tank will have at its disposal on the battlefield during Alpha 1. What are your thoughts on tanks in Ashes of Creation? Is it a class that you'll be playing? Let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to Ashes and want to jump in on the forums or purchase some cosmetic skins on the website, well feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.